So when we come to standing, uh, you want to think about keeping your feet together, lift your thighs up, lift your kneecaps up, pull your abdomen in and up. And now just try to do a balancing on your toes, keeping that engagement in the core. Inhale, raise the arms up and heels up without losing that. And then exhale, bring the arms down and the heels down. So you can do that a few more times. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale, arms down and heels down. Transfer your weight over to the left side. Reach down and hold on to your ankle and place the heel as close to the groin as possible. Keep the proper alignment in the tree pose. Press back with the left thigh and straighten your spine, lengthening your upper body. So feel very strongly with your hands on the mat. Now tuck your toes. Make sure you engage your navel and slowly lift yourself up. When you lift yourself up, your focus is to lift your hips back and up. So lengthening, lengthening your spine. Just imagine sending your hips higher up to the sky. At the same time, you want to suck your stomach inside. Keeping that position of your spine completely straight, you want to press your heels into the floor. Bring your knees down to the mat and fingers widen nice and spread. Inhale as you exhale, lift your knees and hips and send it back to the sky. And once you're ready, as you inhale, lift your right leg all the way forward and bring it right in between your palms. And the next step is to pivot your back foot to the mat, which is going to prevent you from falling down in the posture. So from here, as you inhale, push yourself all the way up. Bring your torso all the way towards your knees. From here, once you're ready, maintain the lower body position. And as you inhale, bring both your arms all the way up and stay here for a couple of deep breaths. For number two, just keep your breath really normal and bring your body away from your knee and still maintaining the knee position and the alignment. And stay here for a couple of deep breaths. For five, four, Three, two, one. Come to your mat. You bring your hands underneath your shoulders and extend your legs till your toes touch the ground. Then the opposite one. So always keep the body in a straight line. Because this is kind of hard, people will have the tendency to do this or drop your hips. That's really bad because you'll hurt your lower back. So always pull through your belly and make sure the body is in a straight line. Roll the shoulders and keep the body really nice and long and engage your thigh muscles. Keep the wrist directly under the, spine, uh, under the shoulders, the knees in line with the palms, directly under the hip. The movement is only in the back and not in the limbs. As you inhale, you drop the back down, the head up. Exhale, you arch your back up. Look at your knees. Inhale, exhale, move the palms just beneath the shoulders, inhale head up, elbow straight, feet together, exhale down. Stand up tall and nice, take a few deep breaths once you're ready. Gently bring your butt back and begin to bend your knees slightly and raise your arms all the way up as you inhale and make sure you have a normal deep breath. So in Utkatasana Dichar pose, your body weight should be onto your thighs instead of your knees. <laughs> 